Hello, friends. I'm live. Yeah, I did. I made these. I wish I had. A Hi, Ashley. <laughs> I wish I had a um a ball of that yarn so I could show you what it looks like the ball of yarn before I started this before I made it into this. It's hard to believe you can do that. Lots of things I can't figure out, but I did figure that out. And I made this tree skirt. So this goes over here. That's These are easy to make. I, I like making these. but And I like doing this, too. So Christmas, I know. I'm putting a few Christmas things up. Uh, just a minute. This is my big Santa Claus, so no, it's not as big as that one you were looking at. I don't know why he has his head turned over there all the time. <laughs> ho, ho. Look at the friends. <laughs> when I plug him in, he... Uh, I think his uh, arm moves with the candle. I can't plug anything in this thing. It's <sighs> see what I'm fighting with is here for some reason it won't plug in. I had it plugged in enough that the lights were on, but now it's uh, the lights are off. Is there a trick to these out, um, extension cords that you can't plug them in, for heaven's sakes? Is there instructions on that little paper I took off? How can there be? There's only one way to, to plug... Plug in. And I'm not getting it. I thought I had it plugged in once, but I'll just have to wait until Richard. Here, I'll unplug the computer for a moment and I'll plug this in. He'll blind you. He'll blind you with that light. I should have a an orange one or yellow. Yep, there's Ho Ho. That's how tall he is. Just this tall here. So that one you were looking at was a lot bigger. Ashley. Now don't put your head over there too far. <laughs> Last year, every time we looked at him, he was looking and he had his head on backwards. Didn't you? <laughs> oh, I've had that for a lot of years. But he's not going here. I'm going to put him back in there. He's going to be on the table with the tree. I'm here. I got a whole big one I made. Man, I don't know how much money I spent on yarn for that. I'll unplug this long enough for you 
to take you guys in so you can see it. It's double that. It's double. Yeah, it's it'll fit a big bed. Uh, okay, I put up this. I put up this here uh, Christmas Christmas town, snow town, Christmas. Uh, I had put this up the other day. That wreath. But I got this in the mail today, that Christmas card from some government person. Now, here's the tree skirt. I made that too. And there's the tree. But I was setting things on that stove, but now it's got a fire in it, so I better not. <laughs> There's just a couple of little things in that. I got to get something and wipe this table. Just a minute. Here I am. This here table here is a, a giant uh, crib table. And when they made it, they made the legs half and half. And you can, oh, thank you for all the hearts, whoever's doing that. Oh, hi, Francois, you're back. I'm uh, putting out a few Christmas decorations. Uh, and yapping. I put out a video this morning. It was just me walking up and down the road, talking, blab, yapping. Yeah, I made this. You guys probably aren't going to believe it, but ha, well, maybe you will. I leave this decorated. I put it in this bag and I leave it decorated all, all year. Uh -huh. So, ho, ho. Come on, ho, ho. Come here. Hope nothing was breakable. Ha! Huh. Should I have him facing the road or facing the room? I forget what we did last year. Oh. Now oh, he's got the cat food under there. Okay. I'm not going to plug it in now because it is kind of annoying with the bright light. And he makes a creaking sound too. Creak, creak. Well, no wonder because how old is he? We'll save these bags and put stuff back in after. There's still a few things in. Sorry, you guys. You got some Christmas balls here. Here's my little elf on the shelf. <laughs> He's an elf on the shelf. Get on that shelf. Now there's a shelf over there. Here, elf. Get on this shelf. And no moving either. No. Well, I, somebody said, once you put them there, you're not supposed to move them. I just put him there in front of the TV. Here's my Let It Snow mug. 
my daughter, I said, I don't want any more mugs. So I was opening up the present. She said, I know you didn't want any more of them. And I looked at it and I said, oh, I love it. Thank you. I love, love, love. Okay, there's, I don't know. That must have came from the friend across the street too. I don't even, I don't even remember this. Plastic canvas anyway. Uh, I don't know where to put it. Over there. I got a couple parcels coming. I'll have to check and see when they're coming. I don't even remember this either. Uh, Mom's got tacks on here that let her cover up my thing. I don't want to cover up my mug. Or I can put the mug there on this here. I don't remember this thing. If I had room to store my tree decorated, I would too. Yeah. <laughs> my sister and her husband tried to do that once with a big tree and take it down in the basement, but it didn't kind of work out very good. Yeah, I went for a walk up to the water. I never seen any ducks or geese. Oh. But I did see uh, lots of ice. And uh, it's not right thick, but you could hear it cracking because the tide's going out and that river is tidal. And the water goes out from under the ice like that and it cracks. There's another elf. Two elves on the shelf. And these balls, I don't even remember using these. I don't think I did. Oh, I gotta make my tea. That's what I hear the kettle here. It's not whistling, but it's uh I can hear it. Just put my bread in the oven. Oh my goodness, Ashley. The smell would really hurt my head, but it is a very nice smell. It's a very nice smell, that's for sure. Oh, there's another one in there. He's a lucky man. And I'm sure he knows it. Now, how many times is he going to pull this off of here? Bump into it. and <laughs> I just got some empty bags here. Well... I did more than I thought I would do or intended. Uh, 
back hurts a little bit, but not lame like yesterday. No, oh my goodness, that was awful. There. I did manage to catch that, and I put two big sticks into it. I don't know if I should just let it go or... Or what? But anyway, let's go out here. Soon time to get my food ready. <laughs> now, plug this back in. Would you eat whole grain bread? Uh, I would. I'm not going to buy a loaf and have it, but... Like if I go to Subway, for example, I ask for 12 green or whatever their green bread is. But, uh, yeah, I used to, uh, I used to buy, uh, Ezekiel, uh, I don't know if it's four, nine or nine, four, I think it's four, nine. Uh, it was sprouted. It was bread made out of sprouted, um, and uh, yeah, it was like eight dollars a loaf anyway, and it, it didn't keep me satiated over making healthier breads, just trying to master the art of regular first. Yeah, yeah, you're doing a good job because it looks like it would, you know, you could put that picture in a magazine. 1114. How many steps have I got? 6,645. Yeah, because when I was starting out, like I was pretty well sedentary. I, I was lucky if I got a thousand steps a day. And uh, yeah, so, uh, and then that uh, guy. Yeah, I walked up to the to the the water and back. Where did I take this off of? Does anybody remember? Maybe that cord, I don't know. Uh I don't know. I got a bit of a headache. You guys, last night, oh my heavens, last night, 12:30. I just got so sick. The lameness had left me. But like early supper time and after, though I didn't have any more lameness or anything like that. But all of a sudden, I just got sick, sick, sick to my stomach, and uh, I started shaking, and my head uh, started to hurt. And for over an hour, uh, I, and then I said, oh, "I'm just going to try to go to sleep." And I went to sleep, and when I woke up at I want a quarter to six. Jamie, hi, <laughs> oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, I was doing some Christmas decorating too, but, uh, well, I did some on a, the vlog that I walked this morning, I didn't see any geese or ducks, but I did, um, uh, see, uh, ice and ice on the water, and the water, the tide going out under the ice, it's making creaking noises, cracking noises. Um, I'm trying to plug this stupid thing in. Why should I have so much trouble plugging in? Uh, just an innocent plug, plugging it in. Oh, I don't have the strength in my hands. Oh, Lisa, hi. I got myself a headache from uh, touching stuff that had smell on it. Patty and everyone, I saw your crochet mix at the beginning. At the beginning. Very nice. Oh, you saw it? Uh, yeah. That one, though, I don't know how it got. That's, I don't know how it got smelling like that. But anyway. The stove smoked a little bit better and a little bit when I first 
I think I put in three sticks of kiln and a couple big hunks. <sighs> it's it's not the warmest, but it's comfortable. Comfortable. I'm gonna check this one now. Oh yeah, are you almost out. It's a bird. She wouldn't let me split it. You have to split birch because it's got that uh, waterproof bark and you can't, uh, can't draw inside. So the bark takes right off and I didn't do my tea, you guys. It uh, compliments, compliments uh, organic green today. This didn't whistle, but it, uh, I heard it. There, there we go. It's good to let the, the have a pot of water on the stove or, or a, a kettle and let it boil and put steam in the room, especially in the winter time. Cat fuzz. Do you want me to show you closer? <laughs> I'm not really bragging, but <laughs> it's not an easy thing. Some people can't master it. This here was a ball of, I don't know what, variegated yarn I used to buy at Walmart. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if they have it anymore. I, uh, oh, here's something in here now. In this bag. Let me put that up there. Let me dig in this bag here. Yeah, when I dig into stuff that's been sitting around, packed away, it also has a uh, smell. Oh, this is one of them. No, this one doesn't smell perfumey, but it's it has a smell. This is another one. You don't always come out with the same pattern. I'll set it next to this one. Wow, that's mosaic crochet. It's called pooling. I couldn't figure it out when I tried crochet. Well, do you know how to crochet? I just... Uh, Regular stuff. See, sometimes, well, it's it's pretty well the same pattern. It's silly. Silly patty. Yeah, it is. Well, it is, but uh, this here diamond is smaller than this diamond. Yeah, you, no two are ever exactly the same. I loved doing it. I did love doing it, but... The, the yarn picks up the smell in the store and and then I it's hard to air a ball of yarn in the middle of the ball of yarn so so this one here I don't know what oh here's a little bird I don't know if mom made this, Richie's mother, or not. There's a bird uh, over there. That's been there all winter and all year, ever since we got here. So maybe I'll put this on this blind. That one's got a bird in the middle of that blind, so maybe I'll put this in the middle of this blind. 
Yeah. There we go. Oh, there's a Santa Claus hat face. I learned by watching YouTube tutorials. I learned, I don't know if you heard me say this on a video before, but when I was 21 and I was giving up smoking for the third time, I gave up smoking during both my pregnancies because I it made me sick. Not because back 51 and 52 years ago that we knew that it was bad, just how bad it is. But... Uh, Anyway, so I wanted something to do with my hand. So I said, I'm going to try and learn how to crochet. I already knew how to knit. My mom taught me how to knit. But I, I used to knit the wool socks. And every year, every fall, I had to call her up and ask her, Mom, how do I turn that heel? And now she's gone and I can't ask her anymore. Anyway, that yarn has got that real wool like yarn that made from the sheep wool that has um, what does it smell like to me linoleum or something it's the it's a, a natural whatever in in the sheep wool oh jan hi and uh my first husband his uh uh, cousin, uh, yeah, his cousin was uh, teaching me, and she was left-handed, so it was a little, a little hairy for a while trying to learn it, but I did, and then I, I, I looked at books, and mostly the ones with the pictures and the numbers, because I have a problem with reading and remembering, and uh, yeah, I blame that on my environmental thing. But. Oh. Oh. Oh, I forgot to bring my mouse. I almost didn't see your first uh, comment there, Jan. Yeah, I'm feeling. Some, yeah, I'm feeling better than I did last night. Oh, my goodness. That was awful. I wasn't, it, I didn't actually throw up, but I sure felt like it. I had the garbage can beside me all night, but I did go to sleep. And when I woke up, I, I wasn't sick to my stomach anymore. It almost felt to me like I had food poisoning, but I didn't need anything to have, get food poisoning from, I didn't think. Mostly, you know, vegetables and fruit. So anyway, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, you know, see, these things have got smell just being packed up and, and they were, uh, came from a smelly house. I don't remember this bell from last year. There's another Santa Claus hat. Oh, there was must be a Santa Claus body, body somewhere because he's got a hole in his neck there. This one here just hangs up. It's got a hanger on it. I'll leave this un box un open just so that any smells can dissipate. Oh, this was from a watch, yeah, from last year. This can go in the garbage now. That's not a, a box appropriate for uh, putting some another gift in. So I'll leave this box is, though. This is all right to recycle that. Yeah, you might as well recycle what you can. Oh, there's a couple more birds like that one. But I don't have a hook. One of these hook things. Oh. 
I'll put a bird on each side then. And I'll hang something else in the middle when I... This bird can just hang here in the same window right there by that. I don't have my cock tea made. I don't have my food ready. That'll be good. That'll be all right. We'll put ho ho here. All right, let's go back to the kitchen. Yeah, and I can feel my head, my head hurting and my throat getting sore from touching things and smelling stuff. And I forgot to put the lid on this, so I smell that. I know it's not a, a well, it, it is a health and wellness channel. Health and wellness and uh, weight loss. Health and wellness. Part of my... Health is my environmental thing, so I guess it's all right to talk about it on here. But it's a horrible, horrible, horrible. No one ever wants it. And I, if I had an enemy, I wouldn't wish it on them. I don't think I have any enemies. Well, maybe one. Maybe one. It was still living. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so now, these go in the garbage. This goes in the recycle because it's cardboard. I don't think there's any staples or plastic. Well, that thing looks plastic in there. But I ripped it off. So this can go in the recycle. And these in the garbage. And I better start to get my food ready. I did take out two bags of garbage. Isn't this? Oh, that fire went out now. Oh, goodness. It was burning good. Birch bark. Now, I'm inhaling too much smoke, and I can smell the, the ashes and stuff. So that's out of the question. Yeah, Richie uh, cooked me up 
potatoes and onions again last night. From in that oven over there, I brought it in. Uh, takes too much time trying to keep buyers going to do anything else. Well, I did get a I did get a walk and I did do that decorating. Yeah, I still got a little bit of a headache back here. I like all the hearts and things on the edge there that people are given. <laughs> you guys didn't see these up close. <laughs> They're moose. Well, they look more like a moose than a reindeer, but maybe they are reindeer because of the time of year. Uh, I smell onions. Maybe that's what it is. It is. Oh, I know it smells good, but I'm glad I can't smell that. Yeah, it's this... I can smell this food. That's what I've been smelling. I had it sitting right there. Stupid. Well, no, I'm not stupid. I just forgot. But. Uh, what happened? My phone just went black and my thing I was doing disappeared. Start over. I just had to send something quick to Ashley. Mm, nothing like the smell of fresh bread, I know. Oh, did you? Okay. I better get this baby plugged in. I got so many things to do. Ah, oh, look. Oh, my goodness. I love him. I love them bells. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he caught it. He caught it. <laughs> I love when she shares the kitties with me. <laughs> He's so silly this morning. <laughs> well, if this was this morning. Oh, look, there's the bread. Oh, look, you guys. Oh, two loaves this time. Was it only one before, but now it's two? I got to save that picture. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Drooling. Drooling. Yeah, he's hyper. <laughs> Let me... Yeah, um, I don't have those colors, though. I knew that she liked uh, the orange, but what I had in mind, it doesn't come in purple and pink. He, he eats a loaf in a day, so I need to... <laughs> Bless him. 
I hope you can get away with that. Like I, if I eat a loaf of bread in a day, I bloom right back up again. He's all hyper. He must know what's coming. Uh, okay. Out of blue, black, silver, green. <laughs> blue, black, silver, green, and red, I think. Yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> I hope she's not. Oh, I got some big mouth. That's why I was doing it on here so that she wouldn't hear me if she watched. Oh, any color that's not red. Okay. <laughs> Which was my mom's favorite. At least a car. She liked the red cars. Like, yeah. I still miss my mom 19 years later. My friend on uh, was talking about grief. See, uh, lost a dear one. And, yeah. And she was talking about grief. And I said, I don't think it ever ends. It might lessen. But it's always there. You know, when it's a close member, family member to you that you've... Okay, I got to make my food. Boy, I'm loving all those uh, hearts and things. Thank you, everyone. I got three likes. She hates red cars. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see. What was I going to look for? Let's check the weather. That's not it, but... We'll check it anyway. Oh, I know it. Uh, okay. Zero. High is zero today with a wind chill minus eight this morning. And it was chilly. It was chilly on my face, mostly. The rest of me was warm enough, but my face. Uh, tonight, wind chill near minus, minus 10. I couldn't get warm yesterday. And then I got under all those, those blankets and cats snuggled up against me and and then I had a hot flash and I had to fling them off of me. And then after that, I was warm for a while. And oh. so today is sunny, tomorrow is sunny and Sunday cloudy and plus 10 on Sunday and 12 on Monday so, and rain on the weekend. So, yeah, I think. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. We're going to town today. After work. Yeah, that's what we're going to town after work. So he can, uh, we can have tomorrow to do stuff here. Fill the wood boxes and maybe split. No, he has to saw some before I can split it. What else was I going to do? Oh, yeah. See if I can find my uh, tater day. Yeah. <laughs> There's Michelle. Well, what's that guy's name? You guys all know the cartoons. Is that the guy that used to take chase the the road runner? Where's my, I can't find my, Wiley Coyote, yeah. <laughs> A couple of people have got big Grinches, the blow up Grinches. And uh, Michelle, the ch uh, chickens by the lake, Michelle, she had one in her front, blowed up in her passenger seat on her car. And she went through the drive through
Uh, yeah, but people don't know when other people are being sarcastic or if they're, you know, for those who did not grasp the concept, concept of sarcasm, well, if you announced that it was sarcasm, No, where's my where's my uh my live? Where is it? View channel, see if that'll bring it. Yep, there it is. Ah. Live chat. Okay. I don't think I missed anybody. I got to get this food out from under my nose. Every time I see it, it makes me dumbfounded and I can't do what I'm supposed to do. Like, that's why I'm supposed to have somebody with me that'll tell you. Pat, Patty, get rid of that. It's right under your nose. Get rid of it. Either put it away or, or do what you got to do with it. Yeah, so I'm going to sit here again, and uh, you can. You can uh, see what I'm doing. BRB. A knife, a spoon, and a. Fork. Oh, I already have paper towel here. So let me put that stuff on there. Get my glove. It's feeling chilly. I'm going to have to put something in here. And hope and pray that a whole bunch of you guys couldn't see me. I'm sorry. And hopefully a whole bunch of uh, smoke doesn't come out uh, at me. Um, be right back. I guess you can see me. There, threw that in there. Ah! That's it. Seems to be doing all right. So far, so good. I'll leave it open that crack for now. Oh, glove. Yeah, okay. The, the kitchen fire went out. That's why it's chilly. Yeah. Sorry, I always get everything in the way. Nope, I said, I don't want to be fighting with fires all winter because the wood's not properly dried. Try to light the birch bark on fire and see if that'll do it. The 
it does it in the in the wilderness when you need to make a fire in the in the forest. I don't know if he forgot he's got meat in there to cook up. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I had to leave briefly. I have guys working on our home. Oh, okay. Jan, thumbs up. Patty and all. Oh. Jackie, hi, Jackie. Windows to my life. I forgot your name, Jackie. Yeah, thank you, Jackie. Are you working today, Jackie? Or when I was watching uh, videos on how to grow your channel, which apparently nothing works for me, but it uh, it says ask your ask your uh, viewers everybody to tell where where they are in the world and get a conversation started um he didn't eat these brussels sprouts so i'm gonna eat them because i don't know how long they've been in there i oh i hear that fire in there though it sounds like i hear the one behind me too I do. I do. I do. I thought I heard a putty cat. The other stoves that we had two or three in there and they didn't, they didn't smoke. Like that one in there does. So I don't, uh, I don't know. We don't know why. Now I'm going to put the rest of this. Actually, I can almost smell that homemade bread. <laughs> yeah, it is. For most people, it's it's a nice smell. It makes my stomach hungry and want some, but it's just the smell of, just hurts my brain. It does a number on my brain. There, now I got a big mess on my. I gotta go rinse my glove and this dish. I don't have to rinse that. I'm going to, I'm going to eat out of it. So, I might do some dishes after. after. Get the hot water going here. And, oh yeah, he poured some soap in the, from the big bottle into the small bottle. Oh yeah, Ashley, I was going to buy another one of them, worse than I. Another one of those giant bottles of dish detergent. Okay, you guys. Well, I'm just putting these, I can't turn the computer every time. I would love to, but when I got things in my hands and I'm trying to do stuff, it, uh, it slows me down. I'm sure everyone can relate. You gotta use so much of that dish detergent. Am 
If I drop these and break them, you'll see hear some hollering. All right, got hot water going in there. This time I got a hand free, so I'll turn it. I gotta check that. Yeah, that'll be all right. He's got greasy dishes. I don't know how many I'm gonna do. I don't know how many I'm gonna do, you guys, but. All right, let's continue on with my food. That's what I should be doing. Oh, uh, yes, you've been delivering 12 hours a day for the few weeks. Wow. Now I take off Monday to meal prep, but I think I will change my meal prep from weekly to every other day. I have an order now. Okay. Be safe out there. Okay. Be, be safe out there. Oh, I don't. Ended up with two knives here. There's my onions. Onions. And onions. And then I'm going to put some frozen onions, too. So, oh, we cut these ones up in bigger chunks. Yeah. I think I'd rather have them in the strips because these are too big. But then when I cut them, they're too small. Oh, well. I'm not going to complain, that's for sure. Nope, I'm not going to complain. What do we got here now? Oh. There's carrots, sliced carrots. He usually puts them in. There's a piece of a turnip. No, I, I don't think I like it this way. But if he asks me, I'll, I'll say, but I'm not going to complain. Patty, are you seeing my comments? Uh, yeah, I, well, I saw that one there. Oh, Ashley, even the smell of the bread. And Windows, you forgot her name. And the thumbs up, I, you had to leave for a few minutes. And you came back. I don't see any that I missed. I'm going to have to go, ladies. These guys have questions for me. My husband is at work sending love to all. And sending love uh, to you, too, Jan. Our uh, blood pressure machine, it's between now and Monday. I forget which, or Tuesday. I forget which day. I got three things coming, but I don't know which day anything is coming. I think there's a uh, cabbage in the bottom here and turnips and carrots and I think this will be enough because I'm gonna I got dessert. I got another uh, potato uh, apple in there. This is very nice HUD. Woo it was still in the oven. I don't know if you put it on to cook this morning or. So did I miss comments? Jan? Or is there something that I, is there something that I missed? If 
might get more people after this here magazine article. I don't want to have too many that I can't see all the comments or talk to people, look at a comment and, and, you know, some people, the comments are going so fast because they have, well, the other day, uh, uh, Michelle Chickens by the Lake had 92 or something. And she's got a, a lot of, uh, I forget how many subscribers she's got, but she has a lot of people that watches her and comments and, and, uh, yeah. Somebody was banned <laughs> yesterday on their live. Somebody was gave a, a super chat or something. I couldn't see the, the replay of the, the comments. Um, yeah, the comments as you're live. And uh, somebody gave one to try the eggnog. And Bruce wouldn't. He wouldn't do it. He hates. He doesn't like it. After your magazine, yeah, that's a that's what I'm afraid of now, Jamie. I'm sure you're going to get more followers after. Yeah. I mean, I, I I'm going to like it in a way because if I even got a hundred dollars from YouTube, that would be great. It would pay my internet over here, and I'd have. Of course, it come March, they're going to want me to pay $140 a month. I can't. I can't pay $140 a month and $138 a month over there. That's $300 for internet. For, yeah. Oh, yeah, I was going to do some dishes, wasn't I? Because where am I going to set my, when I do dishes, where am I going to set my computer? I'm going to set it on that thing over there so you can see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get out my frozen vegetables out of the freezer here. I got corn and onions in this bag and peas in this bag. I don't measure. I don't. My lips feel like burning, like I'm going to get a cold sore. I only get cold sores uh, if I get salt on my lips. I know people says it's a virus, but. That's the way it works with me. And I used to only get um, warts when I worked in the fish. But I have a wart. I have a wart that it, it, every few months it falls off. Well, it's going to fall off. I end up picking it off. And then it grows right back again. And sometimes it stings. Sometimes it throbs. And it's always in the way because it's right there where I use my finger all the time. Oh, he's at work today, hon. Yeah, he did have to work today. So that's good. To four days he worked out of five, so that's not that's better than one day. So uh, what else? I don't know if it's gonna be a full day or not. Oh, No, I can't have onions on the floor to smell. Uh, 
uh, I'm going to get the cover and I'm going to put this in the microwave. I don't know if you guys can see. I have a friend who one time years ago, she was, she has a uh, allergy to, I think it was walnuts. Six minutes. I think it was walnuts. And uh, she was uh, having allergic reactions. And come to find out there was a walnut. A walnut on, on the floor behind the sofa, I think, or under the sofa or something. Those pesky warts. My son has six on his hands. Made an appointment, and by the time it came around, his warts had disappeared. Go figure. I did read on Google that they do disappear, but... I've had warts before. They didn't disappear. But I'm glad his did. Richard's got some on his hands. They didn't disappear. I have one on the bottom of my left foot, which it only hurts me. I don't even know it's there unless I'm walking barefoot on the floor or in the bathtub. And uh, I took my own off when I was younger. Well, how did you take it off? I can't do the the compound W or whatever that's called. I never got them again, thank goodness. Yeah. Uh, I anyway, this one on the bottom of my foot, and the doctor looked at it and she tried to scrape at it and she said, I'll send you to the dermatologist. So the dermatologist sent me to the surgeon. And the surgeon had me on the table with my foot up on the table and said, uh, now this is going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot, but don't move. I cut it off myself. It wasn't for the faint of heart. Well, I picked this one off and it hurts because it's, it's half off and it's just hanging there, picking on everything and getting in my way. So I picked the rest of it off. I would never cut, but it keeps growing back. And I never had a wart that hurt before or throbbed or stung, stings. Um, anyway, the one on the bottom of my foot. So he, he cut it out of there and stitched it up. And then I don't know how many days, 10 days or two weeks, however long you have stitches. Come back and I'll take out the stitches. Well, as soon as he took out the stitches, the whole thing just opened right back up again. It was a long, long, long time healing up. And it was very sore, very painful. And the thing is, it's it's still there. It's still there. And that's over 20 years ago. And some doctors say it's a planner's wart. And some say it's a, it's a, a, a callus. But I don't believe it's a callus. No, I don't believe that. But anyway, it's still there. One time, years and years and years ago, we had a dermatologist and Richard went and, and got off a of planner's wart. I think it was Richie off of the bottom of his foot. So I, I don't know. Kelly? Kelly too? This fire is going good. Dare I try to poke another stick in there? Dare I try to open the, the, the door? This is the angle I can see the smoke. Mm -hmm. All right. Now let's. That is a beautiful fire, you guys. Do you see any smoke? No, I don't see it, and I don't smell it. Well, if you see any, let me know. Oh, you can't see. It 
It smells like he cooked meatloaf or something up there. But. I'll have to put that one in after because that's. You just made pizza dough. Oh, yeah, pizza. I don't look ahead at the recipe. It says you have to put it in the fridge 24 hours. I wanted pizza tonight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fridge for 24 hours. What if you put it in the freezer for an hour? They would probably start to freeze it. You wanted it for tonight's supper, I know. Well, it looks like I only got two, two friends watching. Uh, oh, yeah, I can go check my food. That's what I can do. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold your shirt on, and here I am. Now I'm going to dump it in this because this is the bowl I eat out of. Right? Right. Okay. Oh, this is a lot of... I like the little crunch of the onion and the peas and corn. Ah, peed on the floor. That'll be good tomorrow, yeah. Maybe he's bringing something special. For supper. Ooh. Ooh what? Because I peed on the floor? Ah! Ah. Didn't anybody ever say that before when they dropped the pee on the floor? <laughs> BRB. Grandmother Harding. My father had my father had a half brother and a half sister, or was it a whole brother and a half sister? I can't remember. So that must have mean she was married. One of them was married, had kids before, or with a different. Maybe somebody's supposed uh, passed away, and they had another spouse. I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, now I'm gonna put. I got dill weed here. Dill weed, dill weed. Whoa. Hey, is there such a thing as too much dill weed, Patty? I should have used that. Okay, now I still got some of this left from uh, the starch fairy, uh, spice fairy. I'll use this up before I open that bottle. I don't know if he's got whole 
put whole uh, garlics in this or not. I don't think. I didn't see any. Golly. <laughs> She's got her ears back in there. Pepper. One, two, three, four, five. This comes out finer than my pepper over to the tray. I like it. You guys don't tell Rich, but... Hello, Holly G. I never, I don't think I saw you before, Holly G. My husband got rid of planters wart with duct tape method. It worked and didn't return. You can Google it. If interested, I sure am interested. I'd much rather have uh, duct tape. Uh, my Auntie Ruby, my mother's sister, she used to get uh, bad cracks in her fingers. You know how your fingers would crack on the, on the corners and they were so painful. And she used to put um, black electrical tape. And that's what she swore by. She wouldn't use a band-aid. She'd use black electrical tape. So thank you for that idea. I'm sure we must have duct tape somewhere here or there. Are you new, Holly G? Or just someone that is there but doesn't talk very much? Because when I'm in people's lives, I don't really say much. I'm, I'm just lurking. <laughs> oh. This is our, uh, all the chills off it. They don't have to be good enough. I'll get Richard to stick it to the bottom of my foot. I subscribed about a month ago. Thank you. Oh, Michelle and Bruce. Don't you just love them? Mm. I was watching their live late last night. The replay. Um, just a giggling. They were trying uh, eggnog. I don't know if Richie likes eggnog or not. I used to like eggnog. Oh, um. Uh, Uh, when I was decorating, I said, don't tell Richie, I got on the two-step and on that um, cabinet there. I don't think that's it. Um, I gotta think. It's hard. It's hard work thinking. Uh, granulated garlic and dried dill weed. I don't remember Ashley. I don't think it was anything about his uh, Christmas presents because. I don't know. I wonder what he did with his new boots. Have he wore them yet? They're not for wear, wear, wear at the plant. You said it right before you read.
Let's not jog. I'm jogging a memory. You know I need to hear all the tea. <laughs> I would tell it if I remembered it. <laughs> His dentist appointment was canceled because of death in the family. So they're going to reschedule and send him the. Uh, the How am I going to fix my Yahoo and Hotmail and Gmail? I can't get into them. How am I going? Excuse me. Is it cold there? Well, I got two fires going. <laughs> 20 after 12. Isn't there any school today or did you get back in bed? I'll go look. Where did you get back in bed? It's supposed to be right around the freezing mark. This tree is in the way. I'm going to have to move Ho Ho and put him on the other side because the tree is in the way for looking at the thermometer, and that's going to not do. All right. Now it looks like it's three. So it's about 37 or 38, something like that. There's steam coming out of the kettle. What did I say? 37 or 38? There was school, but we kept Van home. Valen goes in later. Oh. Helen returns today, so I will be picking her up after I drop Valen off. Oh, okay. That was 45 over there. It was cold. The wind, wind show was minus eight uh, and our zero uh, zero is uh, same as 32. Um, oh Helen sorry I can't see the letters uh, today my eyesight is worse than it was yesterday. Oh, fallen. <laughs> Halen like Van Halen and fallen like I have fallen down. Halen and fallen. I'll never remember that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got to write it down. All my habits, uh, Jamie, I got so much stuff wrote down you won't believe. That's what everybody says. Well, write it down on a note, but there's just too many notes. And then you can't figure out what you wrote where. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, I have a niece named Holly. I always call her Holly Berry. She's beautiful. Oh my, I have a young friend. She might be having her third baby today or soon. Hmm.
Bless this crazy mess. Hi, Marcy. Is that you? It's afternoon here, but yeah, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> BRB. Showing up the wood today. But one stove can't push the heat out and around the corners and and heat this part of the the home. It just can't. People try to tell me it can, but it just can't. 824 over there. I went for a walk this morning. I hugged a tree, a different tree today. I didn't see any ducks or geese. I didn't even hear any. But... The tide was going out, and the water was going out from under the ice on the water. And when it did that, the ice would crack. I hope it's. Uh, I hope it's. I can hear it on when I edit tonight. I don't even have yesterday's all edited yet. I was just not myself. And then 12.30, I got so nauseated. It felt like I had food poisoning, but... Francois came in and said hi again. And Lisa Crochet was here a while ago. Ashley just took out fresh bread out of the oven. Now see. Wouldn't that be tasty? <laughs> so you all feeling better now, uh, Marcy? I put up some Christmas decorations this morning on the vlog and then while I was live. I was feeling really bad yesterday, but thankfully way better today. Oh, I'm happy about that. It's no fun being sick. Well, the other day you could see my food. I got 
That's better, isn't it? Some people are, um, kids are their crazy self. <laughs> Bless the little children. Stephanie, oh, Stephanie. How are you doing, Stephanie? Of course, I'm eating. What else? There's a couple of new people, uh, Stephanie. Francois, Holly, the other day, two days ago, Lemon Kisses. And Steve, Mo Steve Moxie, he has his own channel. I forgot to plug this thing in. Oh, you got a fire going. Oh, you're getting snow. Oh. We had an inch. And then after a while, we had a dusting. Yeah. And let me look and. See if I can uh, see how many um, subscribers. 874. Oh, there's uh, Scott. I just told um, I was naming off new new names of people. And I said, and Scott. I said, Scott Moxie, he has his own channel. But I don't know the name of your channel, but probably if you just put in, if they put in the, your name that you could, they could find you. Oh, okay. In the U.S., Because that other uh, guy, oh, <laughs> that other guy, uh, Francois, he was in here and said hello. He lives in Manitoba in the middle of Canada, two hours behind me. Michelle and Bruce are one hour behind me, and he's two hours. And then people in Alberta is three hours, and British Columbia is four hours. Mm. Idaho. Are right, the whole potatoes? I can't picture Idaho on the map. I know where uh, Washington State is. Oh, she just cried, but she got down. Idaho potatoes. I don't know if I've ever eaten them, but I've heard of them. Oh, Holly D, Northern uh, Indiana. Oh, you're not far from Mercy then. Are, are you four hours too, or three hours behind me? It's now just after 1230. 
northern Indiana. Yeah, I don't know. 9.33 there. Three hours. I keep hearing things. I'm hard of hearing, but seems like I can hear noises, but I can't determine where they're coming from or what made them. Mm. Eleven thirty-three. Oh, so you're only an hour behind me then. Because I'm 12.33. I was saying, well, after the middle of December, December 15th or the 21st, doesn't the, the day start to grow longer again? Actually, and I watched this channel. I was uh, a young man and woman, and they live way up north, the closest to the North Pole. And they're in what she calls the polar night, and it's dark all day long, pitch dark all night long, all day long, and all night long. Looks out her, out her windows and her kitchen windows, and there's the water right there. Either the water or the ice. Mountains in the background, snow-topped mountains. It's gorgeous. Mmm. And the northern lights every night. When she goes out for a walk, they have to take a gun with them because of the polar bears. Hmm. I don't know what that was, but I didn't like it. Do you? Oh, I think I heard you mention that you were to Alaska. You've experienced it. Oh, wow. Yeah, polar bears are vicious, they, as I've heard. I have a a personal friend who lives around here. She was up north in none of it for I don't know how many years now. And she showed me a picture out her window and there was a polar bear walking by. And uh, they are the one bear you don't won't survive. Yeah. I'm not from Alaska, just family that lived there. Yeah. But you visited them there. Oh, only a year ago. It's beautiful. I love I love winter. I don't love putting on layers and layers and layers of clothes. A few times a day, but winter is beautiful. Oh, I, I went on my walk, yeah. I went, uh, but I didn't see any geese or ducks, but I did see a small waterfall with some ice. When it comes out of the, the culvert, it splashes on the rocks, and it splashes, and when it does, it's, 
it's freezing to the bushes and the rocks around it. Um, I, I love it. I only discovered it last, I don't know if it was last winter or the winter before, but I had to video it every time I go there now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you have any of your, uh, ever show your, what you paint on your channel? It is. It's a beautiful time of year. Well, so is, uh, well, after the leaves go, uh, the fall is the most boring time to me after the leaves are gone. Apple. I'm bringing it out so it, it cools off some. Ah, warms up some. Uh, oh, does she? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't send out cards because new cards have a scent, old cards have a scent, uh, ink has a scent, paper has a scent, so I don't, I haven't bothered for uh, uh, quite a few years. Yeah, thank you. A lot of people don't. They, uh, they don't experience it, so they don't understand. You know, some people are very, try to be as accommodating as they can, like our dear Ashley. Ashley, is your nose itching or your ears burning or vice versa? Yeah, I was kind of saying that to everybody. Um, I thought that you was the kind of guy that does. <laughs> Ashley is accommodating. <laughs> at least, it, at least it was something good I said. <laughs> Oh. oh, she doesn't do her own receipt hog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't smell it from there, Scott. <laughs> as good as as good as not smell a vision. <laughs> I'd be in big trouble if it will if it was. <laughs> Before I got this awful affliction, I uh, I used to use stuff like Avon. My husband used uh, well, my husband I had at the time, not Richie, but is that he had a Avon aftershave, and it was lovely until it started hurting me. Um, and I used to use Skin So Soft and. Yeah, I got a fire going again. Thank goodness for birch bark.
Oh, did it? Um, Stephanie, I didn't. I didn't know that. I just had it in my uh, a couple of drops in my bath water. I can faintly remember. I was nineteen. Twenty. I was about 21 when this thing started to, first thing, my husband's aftershave would give me a headache. The next thing, the lipstick, eyeshadow, it all has a scent. No matter, even if they say scent free, it's scent free is not scent free. Scent free is they just put more chemicals in it to hide the, the mask, the, the smell. Um, mm. that's interesting. That's why summer's not my favorite time of year because I can't use uh, sunblock. I haven't found a sunblock that I could use. And and the same with uh, the mosquitoes and black flies. So I have to cover myself. with pieces of clothing. I think every once in a while I hear a drip of water go on the stove from that kettle. Yeah, I think it's going to whistle now. Whistle so while you work. I put up some Christmas decorations here, Scott. I put some up on my vlog that I'll be editing, and some when I was live here, I put some up. And so the big Santa Claus. <laughs> The side of my mouth is tender. It feels like it's tender on the top and bottom. <laughs> well, I'm behind because I was sick, sick, sick last night. Well, everything was happening. Callie got on me. She was on me four or five times yesterday, and she's staying an hour plus now. And I can't do a thing except watch YouTube. She doesn't want me to have, pick up my phone. She doesn't want me to talk to anybody. So it's just time to hold her and to watch YouTube. <laughs> and, and then my friend called, and we talked for about an hour. Because he was, uh, I was sick last night as well. I hope you feel better. I do. I felt better when I woke up. At quarter to six. I went to sleep and I said, oh, I got to go to sleep so I don't feel the sickness. And uh, and when I woke up at quarter to six, it was gone. So I've been awake since quarter to six. So anyway, so I got behind. I only got my vlog done, but. I didn't get it all done. I didn't get the eating part, the food part done. I 
Are you better now today, Scott? It felt like I had food poisoning is what it felt like. But I didn't, I didn't eat any food that was old. But what I did do, I made myself banana and ice cream. I put walnuts, banana, <coughs> banana, walnut, uh, sweet frozen cherries, dark, and Because there's really delicious uh, ones that maraschino cherries that you buy for bacon. They're so chemically done that. Anyway, so I put that in there. Oh, and I put uh, three spoonfuls of cocoa powder, but I never had a problem with any of those ingredients before. I'm glad you're starting to feel better, Scott. I got organic green tea in this. Not sponsored, but this stays more hot and warm in here. That sometimes I'm drinking my last drink at eight o'clock, and it's not hot, but. It's not cooled down enough that I want to pour it out and put it in the microwave. Yeah, because then I started thinking, my goodness, where I haven't been anywhere, so how would I get sick from somebody else? But, yeah, because it's a while since I went to the dentist by myself and in that store. Ashley gave me some tea. Oh, and that. I was thinking about you uh, and wondering if you was okay. I got to try to remember to take that to Ashley. I, I can't, I can't drink it. Uh, I'm just closing these cupboard doors. I hate to see cupboard doors left open. Uh, I don't know how many much snow you guys got over there. You've been so busy. Nice to see you again. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Cheers. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm still eating the same stuff. Did you? Oh, my. We only have one inch. Richie told me on the other side in Nova Scotia it would be worse. I don't know how much Tracy and um, Nova Scotia living got. Or in Yarmouth. I, I forgot to ask my friend last night on the phone. We were so busy talking about the magazine article that. Um, and I think maybe he said he only got an inch. I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, really? Hmm. Was it wet snow or fluffy snow? Was it enough to play in? 
Oh, oh yeah, you yeah. I could have asked. Hey, yeah. Oh, you went snowshoeing, and it was wet snow. Snowshoeing. I've never done that. You do, Ashley? I can't even tell it's winter except to look at the thermometer. We were to Port Royal one time uh, this summer, Annette. Yeah, Ashley got snow in Bridgewater, and that's only an hour from here. I thought there were mooses, but they must be reindeer. And I don't think you put an S on moose, Patricia. I think they're just called moose. Oh, we used to mess around and say, oh, I wonder if more than one moose is meese. Like, instead, there's a goose and then there's a geese, right? So, is there a moose and then there's meese? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Scott, I hope it goes well for you and stay safe going and coming. <laughs> I ain't that. <laughs> yeah, Richie and I went up to Port Royal. And uh, I went kayaking with Ashley in a pink kayak. Mm. It's her. She, took, she let me have the pink and she took the blue one. I had a terrible time trying to get out of it. That's when my age showed. <laughs> what did I call it? Oh, I said Port Royal, did I? Annapolis Royal. Thank you for correcting me. I do not like to tell untruths. <laughs> I think I'll save this for tomorrow. Because I had, this was a good amount of food. And that, <laughs> that's one moose. <laughs> Richard's dad had that here. And Richie tells the story about when the moose chased him up the tree. When, when I mentioned moose. One day I was driving with my brother. This is. This would be before me and Richard together, I think, in 82. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah, Ashley already knows that, probably. Uh, I don't think we went to any. Well, we went to a fish and ship, ship place. It was on a street, and... They only had a couple of stools in there, but we just took it outside and we, the three of us, me and Richie and Ashley, we ate, we parked on the wharf and ate a uh, mukbang. I don't know if there was onion rings, if I had fries and onion rings that day. And Richie had uh, fish. <laughs> it's got a big rack of horns there.
After this, I'm going to wash up some dishes. I did some decorating, uh, Annette. And I walked this morning and fighting with two fires. Oh, did he? Did he catch anything? Cape Breton or Newfoundland? Oh, he didn't get one. Well, I'm tired of chewing now. <laughs> oh. Maxie, my daughter's cats aren't happy that she's not home. Keeps meowing for her. Oh. <laughs> The two babies? I'm going to put the moose back. Are they full grown yet? I can't remember when they were born. Forgive me. I'm going to put this back in the fridge. I'll have it tomorrow. Six months old, so they're still kittens. They're still playing. The kettle is steaming in here. I found this is the best place to sit. Uh, so you can see me and my food at mealtimes. Uh, it's working good, Stephanie, but it smokes a lot. We open up both the drafts. We open the door a little bit. And open it really slowly like that. But big billows of smoke comes out of it. Yesterday was just awful. Maybe it's the direction of the wind. I don't know. But today I did manage to get... Uh, caught the fire and without getting smoky because I can't stay if it gets that much smoke in here. Yeah, I know. And we don't know why because the other stoves, we had, uh, what, three different stoves in there? Or two? I don't think the one mom and dad's had, I didn't think it's... Uh, Smoked. But anyway. So. 
I had to go home yesterday and I had, uh, uh, and I told Richie and he said, well, when you go over, just make the kitchen fire then. Well, I will open it and I'll try. And, and if I can get the wood in it, I will. Because it makes it toasty warm. <sighs> oh. But I am tired. I'm not used to being up at six, uh, six o'clock. Quarter to six. And the cats was all over me. I'm laying on my shoulder, my this shoulder here. Okay, she comes up and she lays right on this arm. Well, this arm is not big like it used to be. And she's still 13 pounds, chubby cat. But she settles herself on this arm. And then I'm can't move. <laughs> no, I don't. It's gonna be later in January, I think. Originally, it was uh, February something, but I'll be sure and let everybody know. She's going to let me know, but all my, I can't get into any. I need a computer nerd tech because I can't get in any of my emails. I change, I get a code, I change the email, it says uh, a, a good strong email, and then when I click on it and it says success, and then when I go to sign in, it just signs me back out, and when I go to sign in, wrong email, wrong um, uh, password. I don't know how many times I got it to send me the the uh, codes and and do that. Oh. So now I can't get in my Yahoo, my Hotmail, or my Gmail. And some of my like bills goes in there. My bills that I have to pay statements instead of getting paper. I should have always just got paper because I didn't know what kind of rigmarole was going to be. Yeah, I better not get too comfortable here because I'm going to take this over. I suppose my water's cold now. No, it's still warm, but now I'm going to have to put more because uh, he's got greasy dishes. I'm going to have to have hot water, not just warm water. <sighs> Traffic going by. More soap. But I had my last uh, interview about it, Stephanie. It was telephone. It was on a telephone this time. 
she was just reading back to me what she, what she had written. She's the senior uh, editor. Be right back. Here I am. I better squirt some on this too. That dish is not much good, but you have to use a ton of it. I suppose I could have. You have a birthday recently, Stephanie. Did she? Well, happy belated birthday, uh, Stephanie. Welcome, hon. Did you do anything special? Yeah, how do you know, Annette? <laughs> if I do, I forgot. Hubby and I went to dinner at Texas Roadhouse. Oh, that sounds like a nice place. I worked in the daytime. Oh, did ya? Is the weather good for working? Okay, I I had a written I had it written on my Chef AJ friends calendar. Oh, you guys, that that editor that I was talking to the other day. And I said, "Oh, I'm so I'm so glad that you mentioned Chef AJ, because when I was writing out what I had to write out, I mentioned Chef AJ was, you know, she's my hero. She's instrumental in why I'm standing here healthy like this today." And she mentioned her name, and I said, "Oh, I'm so happy." And she said, "Well, she said I have spoken to Chef AJ." I said, you did in your voice. Yeah, in her voice. Not just typing back and forth. Our weather has been decent these past. My eyes are blurry today. Yeah, I know. Cool, huh? I'll, uh, yeah, cool. <laughs> that noise you hear, the pump is right uh, underneath the, in the cellar here. It's a rock cellar. It's not a 
a basement like normal basement. It's a cellar. And all those potatoes were gone. There's 20, uh, uh, what was it, 110 pounds of potatoes? Plus, we bought and ate more since. <laughs> yeah. I'm just uh, soaking some mugs there. I smell something. I don't know what it is. I smell. Oh. This cupboard uh, is low. It's very low. I don't know if they built it that low because uh, the uh, Daniel Williamson and his wife, I forget what her first, Elizabeth, I think it was Elizabeth Slate, Slater. Built this house. In 1804, and I don't know if they made this cupboard here, or, and and it was so short, but He bought himself some chocolate milk the other day in Bridgewater. Maybe he's been. He's got six of these big, huge glasses dirty. Three more over there. How many is there all together, for heaven's sakes? Oh. One. Two. Three. And I already washed four. I don't like having a whole bunch of dishes. I'd rather just have a few and so they have to be washed every time instead of Annette, thank you for thinking of me on my birthday. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I'm so boring doing dishes, but he cooks my food for him, and then he doesn't get the dishes done, so I couldn't stay yesterday because of the smoke, and one other day I had to leave. So two days I had to leave, two days all together, because of the stove smoking. Oh, 
I'm soon done because this back is. Oh, yesterday my back was bad. I couldn't do anything. These look like clean dishes. I, I don't know. Maybe you know. I don't know. It needs to be. Yeah, I have nice, thoughtful friends in here, don't I? I'm lucky. Yeah, I'm getting a headache. Probably from the smell of the di the dishes and I don't know. It's just a, a combination of a lot of things now. The dish detergent, when it hits the... The hot water. I forgot about that. That's why I always just put my soap on my thing here and and wash dishes. But I guess I forgot. I don't know how I can forget after all these years. But but that's my brain. Oh, it's nice and comfortable in here, though, you guys, with both fires going. Oh, my back. Cut my apples with this thing. Okay, that can go and soak. Got another one over here with egg yolk on it. That'll be in soak. I'll wash this and this. I'm just doing it with my finger because that sponge thing won't fit through. That. There's... He said he had this bowl before we met in 1982. Get it from a, a deal in the liquor store. these in soap. This is garbage. Why does he save this? <laughs> Just a minute. I took out two bags of garbage this morning. But... I didn't get sweeping done. Oh, my back. Stop complaining, Patty. You're lucky you're not in them other countries like Iran and 
and Nepal where they have to squat down and, and do all their cooking and their uh, eating and prepping their food and washing their clothes. And... Yeah. I'm pretty well pretty well done here. What I'm going to do. He's got two uh, frying pans here that's got to be uh, cleaned. They got bacon fat and stuff in them. I'm not touching them. This is my potato pot. My daughter was 19 when she gave me this set. And now she's 52. This is mostly just to put the potatoes in, not not really cook them. Oh. The pots are big and the space is small. Oh, that's all I can do. There is another pot here, but he'll, he'll do that. Oh. Oh, my grandmother hurting. I'm going to sit down. I don't know why he needs to take the gas jug today. Yeah, I'm reacting to something because I can just feel myself going down here. Yeah, sometimes you just burst out in tears for, for no reason. Um, I surely don't want to do that on here. Uh, but I am feeling pretty, pretty miserable now. Yeah, I shouldn't have been. <sighs> anyway, you guys, uh, I'm going to say see you for now. And uh, I don't know what we're doing on the weekend. I know that it's given fine for tomorrow and uh, tomorrow night and Sunday. Well, I don't know what we're going to be doing, so if I'll be able to, you know, be some to come on live to do or, or whatever, but yeah, I got my hair cut, but it's all messy. It's short, 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 but it's messy. Yeah, Ashley, I'll snap at you later. You guys all take care too and have a, a good and safe rest of the day and weekend. Hope you feel better. Say hi to Richie for us. Take care. I will when I get out of this environment and I get out in the fresh air, walk home, get in my clean air at home. I'll I'll be I'll be better. I'll I'll come around. But if I stay any longer, I know I'll, uh, it'll be, you know, worse for me. So 
anyway, I, I love you all, and I thank you so much, uh, everyone, each and every one. And we'll see you next time, Lord willing. And the creek don't rise. <laughs>